Good afternoon guys, happy Vlogmas day three. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here. My name is Amanda and I have a 21 month old named Maggie who is going to be in all my videos, but I'm getting a very late start today. This day has completely disappeared on me. I can't believe it's already four o'clock. I had plans for today, but four o'clock. Like most of the time when you have a toddler, things do not always go according to your plans. So here we are, it's four o'clock. I actually am going to start making dinner shortly just to kind of get it out of the way because I'm making chicken Parmesan and I've never made this myself. It sounds very simple because I'm doing a pre-made sauce, but it's just something I was craving, which is strange because I can't even tell you the last time I had it. But I also was thinking it would be nice if we can make some ornaments, I did pick up some supplies for Maggie to make ornaments so we can send them off to our extended family. So we'll see if she's interested in that. She really just wants to play, so I don't want to take her away from that just to do something else. So I'm going to make dinner and then see how she's feeling after that. All right, on second thought, I got all the stuff out to make dinner and Maggie saw that I had put the art supplies out and she got excited. So I'm going to let her do the craft first and then we'll make dinner in like an hour or so. So let me show you what I have set up. All right, we got some of these little ornaments from Hobby Lobby. Everything was 60% off, so these were like a few cents. Same with these. So we have some glitter. Obviously, I'm going to be watching her closely. I cut up some of these so she can maybe do like a little decoupage moment. We're gonna try some glue. We've got paint, which we've done before. Of course, this is all washable paint. And here's our paintbrushes. These are from the Dollar Tree. We're just gonna let her go at it. You excited? Yeah. All right, let's see what you come up with. Okay. All right, you pick out your paintbrush. Yeah. How many do we have? We have yeah. six ornaments. Yeah. Yeah. Green, a green paintbrush. All right, baby girl, what colors of paint do you want? Yeah. Yellow? Mommy do. No, mommy do. No, mommy do. What other color do you want? What other color do you want? Okay. Pink. Pink. I'll do the green too. You're gonna paint, so don't worry. Oh my gosh, I love the stripes. Alright, let me know if you need help moving them closer, okay? So I thought that the wrapping paper would be a good barrier for the table. Now I'm not so sure and I kind of want to check and see if it's bleeding through. I should have known that she would want to paint on the table. Silly mommy. But hey, we're learning as we go, right guys? Okay. My, this is my first kid, so we just try things. All right, I am going to get started on dinner. Can you tell I'm an Aldi shopper? <laughs> Everything's from Aldi right here. Um, so I'm just gonna use this pre-made marinara. We're gonna pound out the chicken breast and bread it. I'm gonna fry the, the outside and then put it in the oven with the cheese and the sauce. We're gonna make some of this bronze cut pasta. What is this? Chitara. I normally like a bucatini, but this also looks delicious. I love that bronze cut style of pasta. So yummy. All right, let's get this dinner going and then we'll be able to help Maggie out some more.
my tip. You'll know your oil's hot when you throw some panko in and it starts to sizzle. My other tip is to cook long pasta in a flat pan like this so that it all cooks evenly instead of you having those parts that stick up out of the pot. What do you think of the spaghetti and cheese? Do you like it? Mm. Mm. I'm excited to try mine. It smells really good. <sighs> I definitely have all the art supplies out still and I'm still wearing my apron because pasta. So let's dig into this. Attempt it so it should be fully cooked. Oh yeah, it's probably overcooked. how I pictured it in my head. So this is definitely gonna hit the spot today. Very excited about this. Yummy! Are you enjoying your tree? Do you love your tree? Cool. The girls? Mmm. Glowing. Turn it on. Okay. Hey Google, turn on the nursery light. <laughs> Tonight's book selection is The Mitten by Jan Brett. Once there was a boy named Nicky. He wanted mittens as white as snow. Now <laughs> you little cute face. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens so much that Baba made them for him. When she finished knitting, Nikki put on the mittens and went out to play. It wasn't long before one mitten fell off. A mole? A mole? A little mole found it and crawled inside. It was just the right size, so he decided to stay. I like that it tells you what's coming up next. A rabbit came hopping by. He wiggled in next to the mole. Hedgehog? What's that? A hedgehog wanted to get warm. The mole and the rabbit made room for him. The owl didn't want to be left out, so the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting crowded. A badger looked out of his house and saw the mitten. He climbed right in. It started to snow, so a fox pushed his way in and made himself right at home. Then a big bear sniffed at the mitten. The animals were packed in tight, but the bear didn't care. He crawled in anyway. The mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Then a tiny mouse squeezed in and perched herself on the big bear's nose. Uh-oh, what do you think's gonna happen? The mouse's whiskers tickled the bear's nose. Uh, 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 the bear sneezed. All the animals flew out of the mitten. Nikki saw his mitten sail up into the air. From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch his mitten. See, Baba, he called to her. I have both my mittens. And Baba smiled. And then she held it up and she said, what happened here? That one's so big because it had all the animals in it. The end. You want to read anything else? 
Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me so far on this vlogmas adventure. This is the end of today's video. The rest of the evening, Paul and I just hung out, looked at the menu for Epcot's Festival of the Holidays, which is coming up shortly, had some blueberry bread, and just relaxed and went to bed. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye!